That bus said to have been T-boned by a tractor trailer. Details of what happened are still unclear, but the president of the Nipawin Hawks says the semi T-boned the player's bus. So how and why did the crash happen? One person who may have answers about Friday night at that intersection in Saskatchewan is a driver of the transport truck. Police haven't released his name. They say he was not injured. The RCMP are investigating and reconstructing what happened. The truck driver, not badly injured, was questioned by police. Whether there was driver error or mechanical problems will be determined by an investigation, which will look at speed, braking and other data from the vehicles. How did it happen? Two large vehicles colliding on a clear day. The bus carrying the Humboldt Broncos was northbound on Highway 35 headed to Nipawin. As the bus approached heading north, reportedly the father of one of the players on the bus was told by police the driver said he was affected by the sun, which can be blinding on the horizon of Saskatchewan's particularly flat landscape. The tractor trailer loaded with peat moss was westbound on Highway 335 en route to Alberta. The bus momentum appears to have driven the impact west and north of the intersection. The bus appears to have had the right of way, the tractor trailer a stop sign. Police are not saying whether charges are pending. The investigation's ongoing. We're still working to determine the cause of the collision, the circumstances surrounding it. All of those things are being looked into. First responders are struggling following the crash. Even veterans who arrived at the scene to treat patients are having a hard time coping with what they saw. 11-year veteran firefighter Nathan Phillips spent more than two hours at the scene. Everyone was just pitching in wherever they could to, to help out. What went on was, was right up here in the, the front of your mind and still is and, and uh, apparently it's going to be for a long time. 28 counselors from across Saskatchewan are providing support for first responders. Phillips is planning to visit some of the survivors in hospital. The transport truck has been removed from the scene and is now sitting in a lot in Saskatoon, about two and a half hours west of the crash site, where RCMP are looking at speed, blind spots, and breaking down each second leading up to the crash. You mentioned that you still hadn't spoken with him when we talked on the phone and you, you've tried reaching out to him, correct? Like you've, you've given him phone calls, tried to stop by his house? Yeah, I can try, but the guys uh, the turn off, phone is turned off. The guys didn't pick up, didn't answer me. I mean, I, have you talked to anyone who knows him? I mean, there's, there's some concern about his well-being right now. And yeah, his but mental uh, health. yeah, the guys I know that some like uh, the friend circle, the guys going to the doctor and see the doctor every day. I mean, and, like and how, how are you doing? I mean, I, I can't imagine this has been been easy. I mean, you, you're you're looking a little tired. I mean, how is this? Yeah, I, I'm too like tired. Like, a, changed my whole life, right? The this incident. And that's it. I don't more comment. And yeah. do you, do you want want to send any message to the families? I will try getting like a. I, I want to help him, the families, I know, like, I have kids too, I know, the, like, which way the, the kids, right, and the important to us in the life, but I don't do nothing. I'm scared now, no, not, like, not statement, I, I, like, lots of pressure on my mind. I don't know like what's the next step, like, the, my work is gone, like, my other truck is shut down now. They said no work more. I don't know, like I'm still waiting for the investigation. Then take a next step, right? We're learning more about the truck that collided with the bus carrying the Humboldt Broncos hockey team. Now the trucking company that owns the tractor trailer involved has been suspended. Alberta's Minister of Transportation confirmed the information late today, despite the company a Dash Deal Trucking Limited based out of Calgary has a clean record of operations in Alberta. The company has been in business since September and has passed two inspections in March and in February of this year. The crash remains under investigation by the RCMP.